Hey everybody, welcome back to Godwin Garage slash Jack of All Trades. So today I, I was uh, weed eating and ran out of my strength. I said, hey, that's a good time to show you guys how to restring a weed eater. Because I know uh, sometimes they're kind of a pain in the butt, huh? Yeah. Uh, mine is a little bit easier of a setup. So if you have one like this, it'll be the same identical type, I hope. It's only kind of had that are like that. So we'll see <clears throat> if uh, you guys have a different kind. Let me know. Maybe I can figure out an easier way for you to string that one. It is cold. See my breath. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what the head looks like. So there's the head. Uh, there's arrows on it, um, and in fact, actually, I'm going to do this, so I'll pick it up. So you got arrows here, on this end, this end, an arrow there, and an arrow there. I don't know, can you guys see that? Maybe. No. Well, on the end of this yellow piece here, there's two arrows. There's one here, one here. It's a straight line. And then on the outer casing, you have one arrow here, one arrow here. You want this lined up with those arrows because that is where your eye loops are for your feed line where the string comes out. Line those up. There we go. Now it's straight up and down with the rest of the eye loop or both sides. Next thing you want to do is grab you um, around 16 feet of line. Uh, this weed deer itself calls for, uh, I think it's 0.95 inches or something like that. Let's see what it is real quick. Uh, I got the Echo Black Diamond line. This stuff's pretty good. I like it. It doesn't break very quickly. So the stuff I have around my yard, I have plants and brush stuff like that so it won't break as soon as it hits it i can't stand when my line breaks real quick uh so this stuff works pretty good uh anyways grab yourself uh, about 16 feet especially for this one uh you'll know when it's full um i just said 16 feet should do her because i believe that's what it said in the book i just don't remember what it said um this is around mm, 15 feet maybe I just pulled some out and cut it off. Sounds good. So, <clears throat> first step is you're going to take your end, got your eye loop here, going to feed it through. Try to get it to come out the other side like it did there. See it? Yes. Okay, now you got it through. You're going to pull it, and you're going to make it even with the other end. So, line them up, hold them still. You're gonna pull your line straight through, line it up. Well, if I can hold on to it, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's even now. Um, I hope. Yeah, that, that'll work. So <clears throat> usually with the older style, which I'm sure you guys have seen or even messed with, you gotta wind them up yourself. These you don't have to do that with. Um, so these ones, once you feed them through like that, you're gonna you're gonna hold the base here. Oh, sorry. Here, you're gonna take that yellow button in the center and you're gonna clock it to the you know clockwise. Turn it. What that'll do is feed the string in by itself. You don't have to take it off or anything like that. Uh, it's so much better. You don't have to stop and you know it takes it takes time to do that. Uh, I'm a busy guy, you know, I'm always working, I, I work pretty long days, so if I want to weed eat when I get home or mow, I want to be able to do it and not have to worry about, oh, am I going to have to put more string in it now, I got to stop what I'm doing, take it apart, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can do it, it's, this is much better, so hold here, twist this clockwise, see what it's doing, bring it in, every once in a while, grab it, give it a little tug, Make sure it's not loose. You want to make it tight. 
just keep going. I do about every two to three turns. One, two, three, again. Ah. There we go. And actually. Good. And now I'm just gonna keep going because I'm close enough. And there we go. So now It's strung. So you guys just watch me string this this type of a weed eater head. Um, not all of them are like that. Some of them are a pain in the butt and you don't like doing them, which I understand. It's a hassle. Um, there is another style. I have another style. Uh, it's the kind you take off and you string it up and then you put it back in. It's right here. That was weird. I heard somebody. Um, so this is another style here. So on these, you have to string it yourself. Uh, this string is too big for this head, so I have to trim it. So the ends, when I put them in here, I got to cut, take my razor knife and, and make this thinner so I can stick it into the hole that's the inside of the casing in here. Uh, anyways, once you do that and you get it in there, there's a piece or not a piece, but there's arrows on this little molding here where it tells you which way to, to string it. So, you know, these goes this way and both sides just do that. So each one that you have, like, um, well, let's see, this one here, you're gonna go around until you run out of room. So I'm just gonna string it to here. I don't really use this one very much, so I'm not worried about it. So we'll string this one up and then bring this one over as well and tighten it up. So now that's set up to be pushed back in. So the way this one is, is this bottom piece goes onto the head, which is, you know, the back side of this on the other weed eater. <clears throat> You'll take these, stick them through the holes, push this down and then pull these off of these ear tabs here which is holding the string there so you can do everything you need to do. Once you get it down, you're gonna make sure it's good. And then you're gonna take your cap, which is, you know, it's like this here, just slam it on. <clears throat> this one looks like this. So once you get that piece on, then you, you know, push down. These will be off to the side and that holds it in. Um, the, the good thing I like about this one, even though I have to wind it myself uh, this comes out automatically so as you lose string it keeps coming out for you uh, if it does not there's a button on the side you can push and it'll you can start moving it around it'll bring the wire back out for you or the string uh, so that's another style the other types are the the lines where you got to put in and or string it up and then weed eat it. break a line you got to take it back off Pull some more out, put it back on, keep weeding. Those are a pain in the butt. I don't like those. I've used them. I don't, yeah. No thanks. I'd be outside all day. Don't want to do that. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys saw me how to, or I showed you guys how to, man, I can't even talk today. <laughs> um, showed you guys how to restring a weed eater. Um, like I said, not all of them are like that. This is an uh, this is an easy. I think it's called an easy feed. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but they're they're amazing. Let's just say that. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Um, it helps me out a little bit. I uh, can't think of anything else. I think that's it. All right, guys. See you guys next time.